The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat realagriculture.com. And man, the number one question right now, do I sell my straw? You know, fertilizer prices are up 125%. And those pirates buying straw, they're paying less than last year. Like we're talking three cents a pound. So I can't tell you the number of growers who have said to me, not a chance. There's more value in the straw. I'm gonna blow it back on the field. I'm, I'm not selling it for three or four cents. It's worth more than that. Well, fair enough. But let's just step back for one minute and kind of think, what is the real value of that straw? Because just because fertilizer have, prices have increased doesn't mean that three cents might still be enough for that straw. So when you do the math, and I know you're not gonna believe me, but when you do the math, there's a penny a pound, or actually a little bit less than a penny a pound of nutrient, macronutrient value in that straw. Phosphorus, potash, magnesium, uh, sulfur, nitrogen, you put them all together, we might get a penny a pound. Now that doesn't count the micronutrients. Sure, there's some micronutrients there, but if you're thinking there's three cents a pound in the, in the nutrient value, there's just not. So then you say, well, wait a minute, Johnson, come on, organic matter. That straw brings organic matter, and you are correct. But what we've learned over the last few years is that what really brings organic matter are the roots that grow in the soil. So think about this. You, you need to plant a cover crop. You add, like everybody should plant a cover crop after root, after wheat rather, to grow roots in the soil, living roots that feed that organic matter. The roots make five times as much benefit in the soil, soil structure, all those things we want than the above ground part. So what does it cost to do that? Would $25 an acre seed a cover crop? And maybe not, but it's in the game. So if I have 2,500 pounds worth of straw that I sell, and I know some people get 4,000 and some people only get 1,800, but 2,500 pounds is a pretty good number. 25 bucks an acre. So the first penny a pound, that's $25 an acre, that's for the nutrients. The second penny a pound, it's $25 an acre, that's to plant the cover crop. So now we've essentially covered the value of that straw in two cents a pound. And anything over and above that really is good value to you as the grower. And don't forget that, that organic matter is great, but man, the number of problems we have had with residue and with where we ha don't have good straw spread and chaff, oh my gosh, if you're not spreading the chaff, sell the straw, spread the chaff. I can't tell you how many times chaff has nailed us this year. As you go through this thought process, you keep the straw for the organic matter, that's fine, I get it. Make sure you plant the cover crop, but when they tell you three cents a pound and you say it's not enough, if it gets the residue out of the way and it'll make you plant a cover crop, sell the stinking straw. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com. Whatever you do, grow great wheat.